convicted robber now has some in the law enforcement community behind his fight for freedom. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes reveals the unusual case for redemption. He needs to be home with me. 88-year-old Betty Cummings should be preparing to spend the holidays with her son, Paige Spears. Instead, he's locked up in the Farmington prison under an outdated law. I am so happy that somebody, you know, come up and want to help him. Must he been let down so, so much. 62-year-old Paige Spears was convicted of an armed robbery that was here in Ferguson in 1988. He was 27 years old at the time, and court records say he was with the man who had the gun. There's no report of a shot being fired, and no one was injured, but Spears was convicted under an old three strikes and you're out law, a law that was changed shortly after Spears was sentenced, but not made retroactive to include people like Paige Spears. Paige is still stuck there because uh, it, it's, it was in effect when he actually committed the crime. Retired Sergeant John Frank is part of a group in law enforcement taking up the convict's cause, a group that operates a police podcast called Brighter Side of Blue. They all didn't buy it at first. So we have 105 years of police experience and one still active, so that number is only going up of putting bad guys in jail. And here comes uh, retired Sergeant Frank wanting us to get a, a robber out of jail. So he did his research and, um, you know, this guy deserves to be out. And he really laid out all the facts. And uh, at that point, we were all just like, yeah, yeah, this guy needs to be out of jail. So it, we would like him to come out and make room for another bad guy and actual get one of these carjackers out and fill his cell. He's been rehabilitated. He actually teaches the rehabilitation classes now for the penitentiary system. Under the current law, Spears would have been eligible for parole 10 years ago. We spoke to him by phone from prison. I've never had uh, this type of support you know, really trying to fight to help me get out of prison. He says he's thankful for this new support. I'm so used to being incarcerated by law enforcement. I didn't see it coming. When they said, I said, what? He said, yeah, we're just going to keep praying. I said, okay. <laughs> Hopefully it works out. And one day we do a story down at the prison as he walks out. The only chance for Spears' freedom right now is clemency from Missouri's governor. Retired Sergeant Frank says there's a request right now in the governor's office. We've also called to see if it's being considered. Stay tuned for the response. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.